Oh yeah, we do in Baseball Jeopardy. That's right, your eyes did not deceive you. The title is correct. I'm starting something new on the channel that I hope I can continue on in the future. I'm gonna be playing Baseball Jeopardy. I actually found a website that has a bunch of different Jeopardy boards, Jeopardy games, and baseball was one of the options. So I was like, oh, this is perfect because I've been wanting to do Baseball Jeopardy for quite some time. Now today, it's just gonna be me participating. I'm gonna be going through these boards, answering the questions, see how well I can do. Of course, I'll leave a link down below that you guys can play along with as well and see how well you do, see if you beat me or not. But my actual goal with Baseball Jeopardy is to make this into a type of series on the channel where maybe I get viewers or other YouTubers involved, ask them questions, they can go head to head against each other, I'd be the host, and whoever wins at the end wins a prize, so maybe like a jersey or tickets to a game or a gift card, I don't know. But if that's something you want to see on this channel, you want to see me do Baseball Jeopardy, continue on with it, make sure to leave a like on it. If there's a lot of support, trust me, I will bring it to you guys. But the name of the game is simple. I'm going to go through all the tiles on this board, I'm going to see how many I can get right, tally up my score, and then it's up to you guys at home to see if you can do better or worse than me and let me know what you do in the comment section below. So as I previously mentioned, if you want to see me do more Baseball Jeopardy on the channel, make sure to leave a like. That's the best way for me to gauge if you want to see more of this kind of content on the channel. Subscribe if you're new and you enjoy baseball content. If you love baseball, this is the place to be. Make sure to hit that sub button. Remember, get in the comment section down below. Let me know some other YouTubers you want to see get involved in this, or maybe even yourself. Get in the comments down below. Give me your thoughts and opinions. And as always, remember to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at GiraffeNeckMark. Links in the description down below to both of those. Now it's time to start Baseball Jeopardy. Five categories. We've got teams, history, 2018 records and home runs. Date created on this board was the end of the 2018 season, so anything from 2019 is not going to count, but I think this should be a pretty good challenge. So, oh, what are we going to start off on here? Teams, history, 2018 records or home runs. You know, the chicks dig the long ball. Let's start it off with home runs for 100 points. Home runs, the date of Ruth's called shot. What? How is that? What? That's 100 points? The date? All right, uh, I'm going to count this one if I can get the year correct, but I, there's just zero chance I get the complete date. Is this... Is this common knowledge, the date that he called his shot? I'm gonna say 1922. 1922? Uh, uh, this is an incredibly hard 100 point question to start it off. I press spacebar to reveal the correct answer and October 1st, 1932. Yeah, um, I know I technically didn't answer in a question. That's just not gonna happen. That's, that's, that's too much for me. But October 1st, 1932, again, is that common knowledge? All right, I don't know that one. Time to move on to the next question. We are not off to a good start. That's actually negative 100 points there because I got it wrong. I can always, of course, pass if I don't know it, but we're gonna try to answer every single one. Let's go to home runs for 200. See how difficult this one's gonna be. This record is held by Lou Gehrig. What is it? That's so, that's so vague. This record's held by Lou Gehrig. I mean, Lou Gehrig had the Iron Man streak, right? But then Cal Ripken broke it. So I'm just gonna go with games played in a row, but this doesn't make sense for home runs for 200. The answer, most grand slams in a career without steroids. Huh. All right then, moving on to the next one. We are off to an 0 for 2 start here. This is incredibly hard. Next question. This 24 time all-star hit 660 home runs in his career. That's so much easier. How was that 300? But I'll take it. We're going Willie Mays here. Let's see what we get. And the answer is, who is Willie Mays? How is that 300 points? That's an easy 100. The other ones are way more difficult, but I, I don't know. Maybe this person doesn't understand how Jeopardy works. But regardless, we got it right. We're moving on. Home runs for 400. This Brooklyn Dodger pitcher gave up Bobby Thompson, shot hurt around the world. Ooh, that is much more difficult. This Brooklyn Dodgers pitcher. Ooh, who pitched for the Brooklyn Dodgers back then? I mean, the pitcher I always think of with the Dodgers is Sandy Koufax, so Sandy Koufax? Ralph Branca, okay, Ralph Branca, not right. Back down to minus 400, we're going for the last one here. Home runs for 500, my goodness. Bonds hit his 71st home run to break Mark McGuire's record on this date. What is with these extreme dates? 71 home runs to break the record on this date. I mean, it's gotta be the 2001 season, because that's the year he broke it. Sep September 28th, 2001? I don't even understand. Let's see. October 5th. How? Who knows these dates? This is the hardest quiz I've ever taken. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna count that one as a wash because I got the year right, but the date, that's just absolutely ridiculous. I'm sorry. You're asking for dates. That's insane. October 5th. Regardless, I'm gonna count it as a 0 0.1 there. We're moving on to records. Records for 100. This person broke Aaron's home run record in the 2007 season. That's gonna be young Barry Bonds. Who is Barry Bonds? There we go. Back on the board. Plus 100. A little bit easier there. Moving on to $200 question now. This curse prevented the Cubs from winning the World Series for a record setting 108 seasons. That is Billy the Goat, the Goat curse. And the answer is, what is Billy the Goat curse? We're on fire now. We're moving on. 
That's a 200 point question right there. We're only at negative 100 right now. Records for 300. This rookie from the New York Yankees broke DiMaggio's double record in the rookie season. That's Miguel Andahar. I know that one for a fact. So we're going to go ahead, hit the space bar. Who is Miguel Andahar? See, now that they're giving me actual questions that are legitimate that you could possibly get right, I'm doing a good job. We got another one right there, three in a row, putting us finally above, back into the positive record here. We've got records now for 400. This man got on base in 74 consecutive games during DiMaggio's hit streak. I mean, the only player I can think of is Ted Williams. So let's go with Ted Williams here. Ooh, Ted Williams. I will take it. I will take it. That's 400 points right there. Complete guess. I honestly can't really think of many other players that were very good during that time. So, all right, Ted Williams. Moving us to $600. And then finally, the last question, $500 records. The Yankees record for most doubles in a season is 53 doubles held by which player? So, Andujar broke, what was that, DiMaggio's record? Gehrig's? Who, I don't know whose record that was now. I'm honestly just going to go with Mickey Mantle. I think Mickey Mantle is going to be my choice here for 53 doubles in a season. Don, oh, Don Mattingly. That's right. Don Mattingly was a pretty good player back in the 80s for the Yankees. Don Mattingly. Okay, uh, that's going to lose us another 500 points and put us at 100, but much better row, at least, or better column, I should say. I'm going to move on to teams here for 100. Teams for 100, the team that won the 2016 World Series, that would be the Chicago Cubs. Who are the Chicago Cubs? Back on the board, another 100 points here. Let's go to teams for 200. The amount of teams in the current Major League Baseball, 30? Hello? 30? Thank you? What is 30 teams? See, like, you get some of these questions, and then you get, give me the specific date. Whoever made this is a sick human being. I'm sorry, but I'll take it. Another 200 points moving up to 400. Teams for 300 points now. Giants orange and Dodgers blue are two colors of this New York team. They're right there, baby. That's the team, the New York Mets. Who are the New York Mets? Correct, three for three in the teams. Let's go. I'm feeling it now. I'm starting to get hot. When the questions aren't ridiculously specific, I can figure them out a little bit. Moving on, A-Rod played third base for the Yankees. He played shortstop for this American League team. Well, he played it for two teams, so it's either the Mariners or the Rangers, so I I'm right. Boom. Who are the Seattle Mariners? Thank you. 400? I don't... Un this person's knowledge of baseball is a little bit all over the place, but 400 points. All right. Who are the Seattle Mariners? Yeah. Okay. Um, teams for 500? I'm expecting this one to be easy now, but knowing this person's going to be hard. The Boston Americans became the Red Sox in this season. Yeah, here we go. Just n pick, the pick the specific year. I guess if you're a Red Sox fan, you might know this. Um, I'm going to go with 19... Mm. Ew, 1906. 1906? Does that feel good? 1908, damn it! Oh, I was so close! 1908, I was so close. I mean, Red Sox fans, do you even know this one? That seems like just information you don't need to know to be a fan. That's just ridiculous. All right, regardless, gonna lose points on that one, which puts us at what? 600 now, and I think I'm gonna go to history, and then we'll wrap it up with 2018 for this video. So history for 100. This tobacco card is only known to have 800 cards created for it. That's gonna be Honus Wagner's, like, super famous card here. And I was right. That is 1909 Honus Wagner T206. Yeah, I don't know the specific name, but Honus Wagner. I was correct. Gaining some more points back. We're moving up to 700 here. Back to history. This one of the ball players in the first induction ceremony hit 381 in the 1900 season. Ooh, who played in the 1900s? I want to say Rogers Hornsby. I really do. Him or Cap Anson, maybe? Oh, those are the two I'm stuck between. I'm going to go Cap Anson. But if it's Rogers Hornsby, I don't even know if he played in 1901. I know he's from such a long time ago, but it's like over 100 years ago. So it's a guess here. I'm going to go Cap Anson. Honus Wagner. Oh, why you got to put all these crazy old questions? All right, we got one wrong here. So that's going to be another loss of points. History for 300. This man broke baseball's color bear in the 1947 season. Jackie Robinson. How is this the 300 question? It's Jackie. Yeah, no kidding. I'll take it. Easy points. And it's giving me higher points, but that's just a much easier question than a lot of these other ones. All right, history 400. He was the only person in history to be killed in the major leagues. Jose Fernandez? I don't even know if this is necessarily true. Uh, to be killed? It depends. Was he murdered or was he suicide? I mean, technically Roberto Clemente died when he was still playing, but Ray Chapman? Who's Ray Chapman? So I looked up who Ray Chapman is and it turns out he died in a game. I think he was hit with a line drive. That's horrible. Oh my goodness. I That's, that's some rough stuff there. I never knew that before. So I'm learning something. Still lost 400 points, but oof. 
I mean, technically that question's not really right or phrased correctly, but when I do it another time, it'll be much better, I promise. Down to 400 here. We're going to history for 500. Keep us positive here. The Yankees second ever team captain. Oh man, Yogi Berra? Yogi Berra? That's, I, I, that like, it just, it came to me. It feels like it's gotta be Yogi. Thurman Munson. Ugh. We're in the negatives. We're in the negatives. What? Is, this guy's clearly a Yankee fan because this feels like it's Yankee trivia everywhere, but uh, Thurman Munson. All right, starting off with 100 for 2018. To get us back to being even at least, this team dominated winning 108 games in the regular season and went on to win the World Series in 2018. That's going to be the Boston Red Sox. Easy 100. Boom. We're back at zero points. Moving on to the next question here for 200 to get us positive. This free agent from the Orioles was drafted by the Dodgers and led them to the World Series. Oh, okay, so he was drafted by the Orioles and led the Dodgers to the World Series. Catchers, yes, Monty Grandal and Austin Barnes, no. First base, Max Muncy, but did he really lead them? No. Second base, Kike Hernandez-ish. Shortstop's Corey Seager, he wasn't drafted by the Orioles. Third base was Justin Turner. Justin Turner started off on the Orioles, so I'm gonna go with Justin Turner here. Oh yeah, I got, I got, I got too aggressive. I got too aggressive. Manny Machado. Oh my God. I wouldn't say he led them, but he was definitely on the team. Oh, I got baited. I got baited so hard. That's right. Corey Seager didn't play in 2018. Mark. Manny Machado. Oh, that's such a bad miss. I'm an idiot. You guys are definitely going to beat me. Negative 200. We need to get these next few right here. 300. Giancarlo was traded into this franchise. Oh, thank you. Yankees. Softball question. This dude's such a Yankee fan who made it. New York Yankees. Boom. This $400 question here. If we can get it right, it guarantees we at least end at zero. So... We need to get this one correct. This player was on a hot streak and had a 51 games getting on base streak. I know Luke Voigt has one now. I know Whit Merrifield did well. I know JBJ. Odubel Herrera, I think this year as well. Ooh, who's this gonna be? This is such a big question. Oh, I don't even know if it's one of those guys. And it was in 2018. I'm gonna go with Odubel Herrera. I'm gonna go with Odubel Herrera. Sinsu Chu, he didn't even spell it right. It's Shinsu Chu. You put Sinsu. Ah! Oh, okay. So. We're at negative 300, which means we need to get this right to be in the positives, to put us at 200. We're gonna need a lot of help here. 500 for 2018. This team knocked out the Rockies, but lost to the Dodgers in the postseason. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's gonna be the Milwaukee Brewers for a positive score of 200. Who are the Brewers? Yes, we did it. We didn't get completely dominated. I finished with a score of 200, which is absolutely atrocious. I'm well aware of it. I'm not proud of it, but this was a very, very difficult Jeopardy board. If you guys show me support and I do this in the future with other people or viewers or other YouTubers, definitely going to be some easier, more topical questions. I'm not going to ask you for specific dates or questions from the 1900s about craziness. 200 points is my score. I'd love to know if you guys beat me, which I have a feeling a lot of you are, but if you guys beat me or lose to me, or if you just want to maybe talk about baseball, get in the comment section below, leave your thoughts and opinions. Remember, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you enjoy the content. If you love baseball, this is the place to be. Drop a like on this video if you did enjoy it. That's the best way to show your support. If we get enough likes, I will bring Baseball Jeopardy back onto the channel. Maybe get you guys involved, some other YouTubers involved as well. And remember to follow me on Twitter Twitter and Instagram at Giraffe Nick Mark. Links in the description down below. That's going to wrap up today's video. YouTube recommends you watch this video right here as well as this is my most recent upload. So click through those if you have not yet seen them. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time for another video tomorrow. Bye.